If you've been finding it hard to find someone, I am going to give you a big reason why and tips for what to do to help turn things around a bit and make it a bit easier on yourself and to get success in your dating life. Who am I to talk about this? Well, I'm Coach Paula Grooms, a dating and relationship coach, licensed social worker, and author of the book, Why Won't He Commit? How a Man Decides to Make You the One. You may have heard about negativity bias. This is built in us as humans, and how it's related to dating will help you to turn some things around for yourself and be more successful in perhaps finding the one for you. What is negativity bias? This is a anthropological evolutionary thing whereby we as humans are much more aware and we make decisions based upon negative things that happen in our life. Why would this be? Very simple, because in order to evolve, we needed to recognize quickly, understand, and incorporate dangerous, bad, unpleasant things that happen to us. So we have a bias much more towards the negative than the positive. We pay attention to negative things in a way that we don't pay attention to positive experiences. It's why you might be ruminating on something that is very negative in your world. Even if it's just your boss made a snide comment or something to you, you ruminate all day on that and it follows you. Then we also are motivated by the negativity bias rather than positive things. So when you are dating, you are going to be looking for negative things perhaps in order to avoid unpleasant situations in your past. And in terms of motivation, what happens to us is that when we are approaching something looked at as a goal, finding a partner, we will be more motivated to avoid anything negative and the possibility of going towards something that we may have experienced than this amorphous thing that we're not really aware or know or have experienced with that person for the future. So what can happen here is that if you're not very excited about the person and have very serious chemistry, you will automatically default to negative bias. He didn't have the kind of shirt you like. He used a, a, a Velcro wallet, whatever it is. I'm going to give you some tips for how to overcome negative bias in the moment that will help you because you're always going to see the negative if you're not overwhelmed and flooded with chemistry. And we know that chemistry is not the main thing that will drive a great long-lived lifetime relationship. It just doesn't. While it's wonderful in the beginning and a modicum of it has to be there, but when we're flooded or really feeling overwhelmed about chemistry, yeah, that's a red flag that actually nobody talks about too much as being a red flag. But it is because it's usually when your negative past stuff, again, we don't think of it as negative because it feels so good, it's a rush, your stuff meets his stuff and then you put it together and what do you have? A lot of stuff. So how do we overcome the negativity bias? You have to remind yourself before you go into a first meeting with somebody, a date you're not that excited about, you have to remind yourself that you are going to look at things with a negativity bias. That's just human nature. Then you are going to look at things under the lens of what can change and what can't. Then you are going to overcome negativity bias by saying, there's something about him I don't know. There are many things about him I don't know. There's something about him that is interesting. I like his and then whatever it is that you might like. He has great hair, manners humor. Add in the positives right then and there 
to overcome negativity bias. Second thing is look at things under the lens of what can change and what can't. For example, he has a Velcro wallet. Well, he can get a new wallet. You don't like that he wears short sleeved uh, boxy shirts. To please you when you're in love and his gal, you can have him wear long sleeve shirts. What can change and what can't? Even if it say something like his teeth. If he's really in love with him, you say, honey, I would love for you to, you know, maybe get that tooth fixed. I think you would look so handsome and so wonderful. He may do that. You see, what can change and what can't? Characteristics. He's rude, obnoxious. His language is bad. He has no sense of humor. He has bad manners. Those things are very difficult to change. You find out he doesn't care about friends, cavalier about lying or something like that. Those things you won't be able to change. But when you look at what can change and say to yourself positive things in that moment, it means you're going to be aware that you need to look for them because your negativity bias will be first and foremost in your mind and immediately snap into place. <gasps> He's shorter than I thought he was. Well, okay, you're going to go away from what might have not worked in the past. I tried going out with somebody short. It never worked in the past. It's not going to work. I need to keep from being in pain. So I won't give this guy a chance. No, nope. now you're going to sit there in that meeting or date and go with the positives. And then what can change? Now, no, his height is not going to change, is it? But you may find a list of so many other things that you'll continue to give him a chance and maybe he will win you over and you will, through that, overcome that negativity bias. I hope this was helpful. I trust that it was. It's very important that you do these things if you are looking to find love because it is hard to do so and our negativity bias is most in place with online dating whereby you know that it's very important for you to be online if you are looking for love because that's where men are going and if you are please look into my one love online to never ending love seven simple steps to digital dating success it's a game changer it's helped so many of my clients really have success online and i want you to have that so check that out i will link it here in the description Take these tips into your next meeting date and you will do yourself a huge, huge favor. I trust you got a lot of good information in this video and I want you to have more by subscribing and clicking that red alert bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you want even more, there are ways to talk to me. You can talk to me for free on the podcast. You can have a consultation with me. There are several other ways that you can check out by going to coachpaulagrooms.com. I am available to you. Just go now to coachpaulagrooms.com for any question, to get my book, to find out about any of my coaching programs, my self-help courses, anything at all that you need. I am here for you and want to give you all that is possible because all is possible for you in your romantic life and you can get what you desire and deserve. I want you to know that. I am happy you are here learning, leveling up, and I will see you in the next video.